literally been cleaning for like three weeks straight. Oh, okay, whatever. Slay. It's fine. I would put money on the fact that both of us have been laying in our bed, scrolling through TikTok all day. When this was the one task that we gave ourselves. You might as well just dab me up at this point. In case you can't tell, we are literally exactly the fucking same. For as long as I can remember, I've been depressed. You know it's the same old, same old. Bad childhood, abusive relationships, fake friends, living in a toxic small town. I didn't realize how bad it got until I was going to sleep every night hoping that I wouldn't wake up the next day. I hate my life, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna completely redesign my life and myself in all aspects. Each episode of this series will be a different part of my life that I will be completely changing. If you're tired of rotting away in your room scrolling through TikTok, this series is for you. So subscribe down below to follow along my journey and maybe even start yours as well. Before the video starts, I did want to mention that I have an upcoming redoing my room video coming out and I'm putting your fan art on my wall. So if you want to send me something to put on my wall, the address is right here and in the description. I just gotta move some so I can scoot over. <laughs> What's up, pop knockers? It is a great day to be alive now, isn't it? Now, if you clicked on this video, I am not going to let your ass leave until your room is clean. So don't think you're taking the easy way out of this because we are in the same mother flipping boat right now. I am not one of those YouTubers that has like a crumb and a shopping bag on the floor and it's like oh my god it's so messy clean with me so i can make adsense as you can see my is actually really bad and i'm just like you i would put money on the fact that both of us have been laying in our bed scrolling through tiktok all day when this was the one task that we gave ourselves you might as well just dab me up at this point Hi, my name is Lauren Ramos. Nice to meet you. So this video is actually going to be a part of a series. Yay! I just moved into a different room. If you're a regular subscriber, you know that. This happens to be the room that went viral so many times for how disgusting it was. This video is going to be cleaning it. The next couple videos are going to be the process of redoing it. It's going to be really fun and really exciting. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested. <laughs> After my years of cleaning room videos, I have perfectly curated the recipe for cleaning your for cleaning your room as fast as possible, and I'm going to share that with you today. Cause we're gonna gut this bitch from the inside out. We're not going into 2023 living in a fucking rat's nest. That shit's over. Trust me, I do not want to do this as much as you don't want to do this. So we have to have each other's backs here. And no, I'm not gonna talk to you like step one is make your bed. I'm gonna talk to you like I'm there in real life and we're best friends. So if you don't like that and you think that's weird, just click off now. Anyway, I'm not gonna use this intro to procrastinate anymore. So let's f shit up. So step one is to acquire your cup of crack. For my chosen crack, I have a Dunkin' coffee. But Red Bull or any energy beverages that are extremely unhealthy for your body will do. <laughs> So I actually typed up a guide for you guys so you have something to look at. You can screenshot it, follow along. I'll go more in depth in the video, but this is just like a tangible version. Also, since I can already smell the comments, my lashes and all my room decor are linked to my Amazon storefront in the description. Okay, now let's finally get started. <laughs> okay, I'm about to put my hair up because shit's about to get serious. So as you can see, I cannot walk. Like there's shit all over the floor. Every time that I take a step, I break something. It's not good. So, because I can't just like start going stupid on the floor. Obviously there's a bunch of trash bags. Those are clothes. Obviously there's a bunch of shit. Like there's really random ass shit from my childhood. Like this like snow globe I like handmade with like guinea pigs in it for some reason. So I'm gonna like make a pile of like <laughs> all my childhood stuff that I'm probably gonna like put in the closet somewhere and like all like the random miscellaneous shit. And then I'm gonna make a pile of the trash bags of clothes so we can at least get like a walkway going and then we're gonna organize all that shit anyway it's grind time baby like it's so stressful because i don't even know where the f to start this is so bad
the way that there's just like a Gucci belt laying on the ground. If you can't tell, I grew up as like a major child hoarder, but thankfully we are grown out of that phase. I'd love to say that I did more than this, but I didn't. Fast forward to Christmas, Anthony surprised me with a Canon M50. I literally cried when he gave me this. He is so sweet. The next clips were filmed a couple days after that. That's why the quality is kind of weird. I don't really know how to completely use it yet, so bear with me. Okay, so this <gasps> is the current state. How do you feel about it, Anna? I feel it's a lot, but we got it. If you guys ain't noticed, halfway through this video, the quality probably changed because this is a whole ass new camera that my animal got me. Thank y'all for that. Because you're so special. So we need to come up with a plan of attack. I think that's gonna be number one, getting all this shit out of here. And then we wanna find something to put over here that I can use for like storage because there's just not enough surface area. There's not, like at all. Okay, okay. <laughs> This is stupid. Anthony actually wouldn't stop playing this claw machine until he won every single toy that was in it. We love a determined king. You bunghole! started going through the trash bags one by one of what I wanted to keep, what I wanted to sell, what I wanted to get rid of. When I tell y'all, there was at least 12 trash bags completely full of clothes. And then I finished going through the clothes. We ended up donating a whole bunch of them. I'm also selling a whole bunch of cute clothes for super cheap on my Poshmark at Larmory679. Hello. Okay, honestly, I've been like avoiding filming with this camera because it gives me anxiety because I don't really know fully how to like use it yet. But this is the new camera that Anthony got me. It switched to, like mid video. Oh, oh my god. This is so weird. The room is basically like done. It just needs to be like spot clean. We went through literally all of those trash bags that were in the corner and like threw a bunch of stuff away. And now it's like in keep and sell. And I literally already did the hard part. Like I literally already did like the going through trash bags. I just like have never been more unmotivated in my life. Like I would rather sit on a hot grill than do this. And I, I don't know why, but I'm gonna force myself to do it. Me and Anthony are getting coffee from Wawa when he gets off, so that's really excited. 10 out of 10, excited about that. But we do have to clean this fucking bullshit mess. Why? I think I'm just gonna like go through everything. I don't know. Organize, figure out what I'm keeping. I don't want to do this. Okay, whatever. Slip. It's fine. Okay, it's time to break my silence. I'm gonna do it starting with this. Okay, you guys are probably like, what in the mother is going on with this bitch? Number one, I am back with my G7X. Don't know if you could tell, don't know if it's obvious, whatever. And the reason for that is I've been procrastinating cleaning my room because this is what I was filming with, which obviously I have not learned how to completely and fully use yet. So it just gives me anxiety filming with it because I'm like, what if the footage turns out like garbage because I've messed with the settings, I've done like a lot of stuff. I have a lot to learn with that camera. So for this video, I'm just gonna film with my G7X. So stupid that that's even like a thing that's like bringing me anxiety, but whatever. Embarrassingly enough, I am going to be real with you guys and admit that I have been sitting in my bed picking my ass for the past fucking week. Every day this week, got up, went back to bed, woke up, rolled around, scrolled through TikTok for like 10 hours. It is so bad and so unhealthy and I'm literally falling back in my old ways and it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> Slay. Here's the dealio. I push this off so much. It is literally like we're leaving for our New Year's trip tomorrow. Tomorrow. And the least 
I want to do is come home to a clean room. That's the only thing I want. It's the only thing I ask for. So we're going to finish this today. It is not even bad. It's literally going to take me probably an hour, two hours maximum to clean. I just, I, I can't get myself to do much of anything right now. I'm not very happy right now. I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling great. I'm not doing well. And 99% of it is this environment. Once this is figured out, everything else will just like come along with it. Wow, I look so pale. So a couple of my favorite YouTubers have uploaded like a lot of videos. I'm going to literally have those playing on repeat on my TV. And we're going to grind this shit out. I did not want this to drag on the way that it did, but we are going into the new year with a clean fucking room Whether it kills me or not <laughs> Subscribe. We're just gonna do our normal process I'm not gonna try to do anything special because it never works out. So we're gonna start with the surfaces then we're gonna move on to the floor and yeah, we're getting this shit done and I'm fucking well over it. I'm well over living like this. I'm well over feeling like shit. Sorry that you've seen me make my bed like three times in this video, but this is the realistic of it. Okay, anyway, let's get started. It'd be nice if I could find the goddamn remote so I could be a productive girly. <laughs> So I just cleaned for like over two hours straight. It is obviously not entirely done, but we're getting somewhere. And that's all that matters because it has been stagnant for about three days. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. So what has really been annoying me is like there is like random spots throughout the room where stuff's just like stacked, which is obviously better than like being like in the middle of the floor, but like, ah, uh, it's just giving me anxiety. There's like different shit stacked everywhere. My closet's almost completely full. I'm probably gonna get rid of some of the stuff in there. So I'm gonna have to make do and like free up some storage because like we can't have like random bags and shit just like laying around. It's not the vibe. It is a lot better in here. Obviously, a lot of this is like Christmas decorations that need to come out of here and go downstairs. The, ah, the little boxes are just pissing me off so much. I think that this is okay for right now. I'm just like, it's still one of like my very like low energy, miserable days. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna chill on myself for right now. And I'm gonna do some laundry because I absolutely have no clean clothes at all. That's gonna be the vibe right now. Not really feeling too hot, guys. I hate, like, ah, it gives me anxiety when there's like little things everywhere. I just hate it. Ew. Can't wait till this is done. Definitely need another dresser, definitely need more storage. Just, this is just not where we wanna be. So quick little story time, on New Year's Eve, my hair got absolutely ruined and obliterated. If you're on the spam fam, you already know this. I have been taken care of and oiling and spending hundreds of dollars in products for my hair. So obviously this devastated me that I had to get like seven inches cut off just because of how fried it was. But something snapped in me and I figured if my hair was gonna be ruined, I was gonna make sure my room was at least clean. <laughs> I know, very underwhelming. But this is a step up from what it was before. Let's do a quick little flashback. Obviously, like I said, nothing about this can be done until I have a dresser. I'm just glad I can walk in here. This looks ugly. We need to do something about that. We need to hide these wires. But I did put my clock back up. My desk is right here. Again, more clothes, lack of storage. I'm gonna need to get like cabinets or something because there's just too much shit. <laughs> and then I wanna get a bed skirt too. But honestly, for how it looked before, this is pretty good. I'm loving the way that my bed is starting to look. It's getting somewhere. I do wanna do some more decline cluttering but like I have literally been cleaning for like three weeks straight and I'm just gonna give myself a break like as long as it's livable and I can function that's fine don't forget that this is a three-part series buying my dream room 
decor is coming and so is redoing my room and turning into my dream room. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. I fucking hate when people say that, but genuinely make sure you subscribe if you're interested in that. And like I did mention before, I have a fan art wall. The address is right here. If you guys wanna send me any fan mail, I honestly am just so over this. I'm so over cleaning. I am so over everything, but I do feel better that it's done. The weight lifted off my shoulders. Now I'm gonna spend the next hour laying in my bed, picking my ass, and thanking myself for what a good girl I have been. Do I get a treat? But like I said, if you can't tell, over this shit, done with it. I just wanna like. From the top, make it drop. Who was that? So I'm gonna end the video here. I love you so much. And now that this is done, I will be more consistent for you guys. Look forward to all the content in my new room. All right, I love you, and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye, hobnockers.